What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with some more coverage of Ringside Fest 2023, man. We actually got, like, kind of a day two a little bit there on the channel of Ringside Collectibles, man. It was a lot of fun. We got some good stuff over there, man. So today, we're going to be breaking down even more stuff that we got. You know, day one, we covered that on the channel. It's like 30 minutes of a news video. If you guys missed day one coverage and all the different figures we saw over there, definitely go check that out on the channel. And then today, we are back with day number two, or just a result of the Q&A and some different figures we got to see more details of that we already knew were coming that I'm very excited to talk about, man. So with that being said, man, let's go ahead and dive into it. And then at the end, we have sort of a bit of a little leak or just some, like, different news that we'll talk about a little bit and just kind of get into it, and you guys can give me your thoughts on all those things, man. But nonetheless, let's dive into it and start things off with some Ultimate Editions. We got some updates on some Ultimate Edition action figures that we have coming at the end, I guess, at the beginning of 2024. Apparently, these are not going to be hitting until 2024. You guys know that this is Ultimate Edition Series 20 that we're going to be talking about. And I know that Ultimate Edition Series 19 hit like a week ago on ringside collectibles so apparently these are going to be coming in 2024 now i don't know if that means like retail 2024 like obviously they're going to hit retail 2024 but i don't know if they'll hit ringside collectibles before 2024 is more of what i'm trying to say but nonetheless let's shut the hell up man getting into it we have the ultimate edition roman reigns the updated roman reigns man this figure right here looks so good. This looks just as good as you could really imagine an Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns can look. I mean, this is something we've been waiting on forever, man. They have updated him completely. He's got the Hulk Hogan style torso. Apparently, he does have the updated crotch piece or a new crotch piece. I can't tell if these are new legs. It looks like they're new legs. I can't tell from this juncture, but this doesn't look like typical shield leg. And these should be pinless, so they're going to be new legs. I don't see us getting, you know, those same shield legs that we've seen for like a decade now. I think we are going to be getting new legs here, and then he's got his new boot mold in there which looks so clean and good with ultimate articulation it even has the roman reigns logos on there now again my biggest gripe with this figure is going to be the head sculpts i've touched on it before but i still want the tapered faded haircut and beard like the thicker wider beard man for roman reigns i really want to see that in our next roman reigns and hopefully that'll come you know in the main elite line maybe like elite 111 or 110 maybe or something like that we gotta have an updated roman reigns head sculpt with the faded tapered beard man i think it would really put these over the top but this looks immaculate it. The tattoo looks great. Uh, the side of the figure looks great. This is a figure that I, I and I know it's just a stand, it's just a Roman Reigns man. There's not too much going on with it that's gonna blow you away. However, just having those updates and having the character portrayed on my television come out and just be more accurate and just look more realistic. And you got the new boots in there. This is one of my favorite things that I saw yesterday. It was just so clean, man. I love this. This Roman Reigns looks so damn good. Cannot speak on that enough. But the updated Roman Reigns is fantastic. I'd love to know what you think down in the comment section below. No longer do we have to deal with the large torso or the overly jacked torso. This is miles and miles better than his first go around and I'm super excited for this Roman Reigns. Now what's crazy is the counterpart to him is going to be the Asuka Ultimate Edition and I can say without a doubt I think. I, I don't know this for sure yet. Obviously we gotta wait till we get it in hand and stuff. This might be the best WWE Women's Mattel action figure ever made by them. I think that I feel like I could say that with a clear conscience. This figure looks absolutely unbelievable like look at this thing from top to bottom you're talking about a mask you're talking about the face paint you're talking about the mist coming out there some you have the butterfly joints on the torso you have like the zebra print and the paint detail this is her royal rumble gear when she returned this just looks so crazy man i, I like so many great things about it obviously and not even including the robe when you take this figure into account from top to bottom and all the bells and whistles they included with this figure it is mind-blowing this is the best women's mattel figure that they've ever done i just love everything about it the gold color the different colorways we have the zebra print uh the way the figure looks this is just phenomenal. I cannot wait for this figure. Obviously, like I said, I don't think it's going to hit before the end of the year. It might make it to ringside before Christmas. I don't know. We'll have to see about that, man. I'm not going to, like, spitball that. I did ask, and they did say that this is coming in 2024, but typically their schedules run on what's going to hit retail in 2024, not online retail, so I don't know if that's the case, but both of these figures from Ultimate Edition Series 20, now this is the next set. This is the next set we're going to be getting. We have Ultimate Edition Series 19, and then 20. This is series number 20. The last figure in this set is going to be Undertaker, but this Asuka, this Roman Reigns are 
unbelievable though the robe looks so dope dude this is so crazy good man this is unbelievable it turned out better than you could even imagine and i know remember like we tried to get asuka's ultimate edition a long time ago bill's been trying to put her in the ultimate line since the beginning and it took 20 series but i think it turned out for the best because taking that 20 series he got every single bell bell and whistle that he could possibly put on this thing i mean it is just a walking beast and i love this this is just unbelievable i can't wait for this figure can't wait for roman reigns this was a great day to start the day or a great way to start the day i thought it looked so damn good but we do have some more uh wwe elite figures coming in man i want to get into this and break it down now we don't have the best images of these what i'm going to do is do a side by side of the render image of a figure and then compare it to the image that we got to see off of the live stream like the kind of like the crappy you know like i don't know 720p like webcam sort of footage pictures that we have and i just want to do a side by side to see how we're going to like compare the two things there but the first figure that we do have that did not have off the web webcam is going to be Cora Jade. Now this Cora Jade figure looks really really good. I like the hair. I like the head sculpt. I like the tattoos. Great looking gear. She's got this new black kendo stick going on. This is actually a really phenomenal looking figure and you guys know that women's figures have improved immensely but this is a great way to uh, kick off our Elite Series 107. This is really the only figure from Elite 107 that we got good clear posted pictures of from Bill and that's not the biggest deal ever. I think that surely Elite 107 is going to have some new updated photos very very soon I would imagine but this figure looks really good. I'm excited for it. I think it looks great. I like the hat. I like the attire. I like the kendo stick. Uh, always in, enjoying, you know, new talent getting added to the line and stuff like that. And we did have an image of all three figures that he posted yesterday, and it's just great. It's just fantastic stuff. But let's move on to the rest of the wave, man. We also have a look at Elite Series 107 Otis. Now, he did show off the different removable hair pieces. Now, he's going to have two different hair options. He's going to have, like, slick back hair, like, wet hair option, and then he's going to have, like, the messy version that's kind of down in front of his forehead there. And this figure actually looks phenomenal. And Otis is one of those guys that's super underrated. If you've ever had one of his figures... They feel really good in hand. They pose around really well, even though he's a larger character. And the last Otis we got, in, what, like Elite 87, I think it was, is really good. Like the shirtless one. And then we had the one back in Elite 76, I think it was, that was also really good with heavy machinery. So getting our third Otis figure here is really good. He's got a shoe shirt, and this is going to go great with our Elite 106 Chad Gable. So this is a really strong figure. I like the Otis. I don't have any, like, uh, reserves about the Otis. I think it's going to knock it out of the park. And I love how, like, seamless... The, the head sculpts look when you interchange the hair. And you guys know that in Elite Series 106, our Jimmy Uso has interchangeable hair. So I guess interchangeable hair. And then, you know, the Monday Night Wars Kevin Nash also has that feature. So I guess that's going to be like a, a moving forward, like a really cool thing that Mattel can do, giving us different looks with our figures. Instead of different head sculpts, they can do different hair pieces. And I think that's awesome. Next up, we do have my man Finn Balor right here. I have a mixed bag of emotions. Let's go ahead and dive into this figure, man, because you guys know I love Finn Balor, one of my favorite wrestlers in the world. I love the way this figure is looking. I love the claw hoodie. I think that looks so damn good. That cannot be understated. The only gripes that I have about this figure, first of all, it is going to be in like that the Usos jogger pants is what I imagine it's going to be. You guys know that we had like the Elite 81 Montez Ford lower. I don't know if it's going to be that lower or the new Usos lower from Elite 106 or the Ultimate Edition. It's probably going to be that without drop down hips if I had to imagine. It'll be the Elite 106 jogger Usos mold from the waist down and then you have the Finn Balor torso arms and head sculpt. I don't like that because it's it doesn't have shin cut. I really want to see shin cut on those guys. And so that really, you guys know I love shin cut on my figures. Adding more articulation, it just, I don't know, man. It just makes me feel like the figure's lacking in a lot of ways when I don't have the shin cut. So I'd like to see shin cut on this figure. I don't think that's going to be the case. But another bummerific thing about this figure is going to be the Elite 82 head sculpt that they gave this guy. Now, it's it's bummerific because that that's, that figure is 25 series old. We have, we have seen this head sculpt since Elite Series 82, which which was 25 series ago when this figure releases, not to add in all the different bonus waves, best of pay-per-views, or build-a-figure waves, and the exclusives, and all these different things. So not getting a new, again, man, going back to the drawing board with the tapered beard and the fade haircut, I have been, that's been on my wish list for years. If anybody watches the channel, you know, I've really wanted a faded haircut, a faded beard, tapered, nice Finn Balor head sculpt, Roman Reigns head sculpt, and... I thought for sure on this new figure, we would get that from Mattel, and we're still not getting it. So, we are going to go back to Elite 82. However, we do get two interchangeable mask head sculpts, which I think are cool. You have the smooth black mask, and then the spiked black mask, which look really good. Like, I think they're awesome, but I really would have liked to seen some of the budget go into a new Finn Balor head sculpt, and I, I pray that that happens soon, man, because that is something I've wanted for so long. Like, so, so long. Like, since 2017, 2018, I've been asking for that. So, I thought this would be the 
time to do it. Unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. So I guess we're just going to have to wait on that. I, I don't know what the hell is going on that. But I still like the figure. I like the Finn Balor. I'm looking forward to it. But that is something that I definitely wanted to talk about and, you know, chime in about and let you guys know how I'm feeling there. But next up, we do have Elite Series 107 Solo Sokoa. Now, we do have the updated Solo. This is going to be the new torso and whatnot. You know, the updated formula. You know, they, elite, they released the Elite Series 104 Solo. Everybody was upset about the torso choice and how skinny and lean he was. And now we're back with this version right here. And I can't tell. I can't tell if this is a brand new torso sculpt from looking at this. It looks like a new torso sculpt. I can't, again, I can't exactly tell. However, I will say that I can't tell if it's too big now. Like, and that's what's kind of crazy. It's like, oh my god, you complain about it being lean, now you complain about it being big. And it's not necessarily that I'm complaining. It just look from, like, first glance, it does look like it's a little bit big here. And I can't tell from this image. I think I'm going to have to wait till I get in hand but he does look bigger and I don't know if uh, I don't think this is the elite 103 Angelo Dawkins torso I don't think this is the head shrinkers torsos either I really would have liked to seen that that torso used for for solo I feel like that would have been a money torso to use however the figure does look good it does have like the waist wrap going around it's got a crotch piece in there like I think this figure is going to be solid it's still going to be a really damn good figure it's just I feel like maybe the torso may be too big now we I don't know if we'll know until we get it in hand we see some more images of it I guess we'll wait and you know we can touch on that when we see it but we did get a little image of it here and I wanted to touch on that but I don't know let me know what you think does it does it look too big now did they go a little bit too big on the torso I don't know you guys can let me know down in the comment section below and would you rather it be too lean like elite 104 or too big which could be possible here i can't again i cannot tell from this juncture but uh i just wanted to touch on that and put the you know put the ball in your court and see where you guys stand on that one but i do like the gear i am looking forward to the new solo to seeing how it compares to his last one and all those different things man but moving on we do have wwe elite 107 Undertaker. Now, this one was one that when it was announced, you know, we saw the render image. It's like the shirtless Undertaker. I was not looking forward to this figure that much, man. I really was not looking forward to this figure that much. I was thinking to myself, you know, uh, it's just a run-of-the-mill old man Taker. But seeing it here on the live stream with Bill, I actually like the figure a lot, man. I actually like the figure a lot. I think it looks really good. He also comes with, like, that 30th anniversary Undertaker, like, special shirt, which I think is cool. He also comes with a, a baseball hat or a, a, an, a hat that he's wearing that has the bandana actually like sculpted underneath it which I think is awesome and then he's got the gloves and the wrist gauntlets or maybe a watch actually on his left arm I love this I think this is great it was a figure that I was really not that much looking forward to but then when I saw it here I was like oh damn that actually he's got a little something special going on there young man so the Undertaker I should say old man huh but this figure does look good I'm actually really intrigued by the Undertaker like uh, it may not be the best when it comes down to the ranking of this set when we get into my damn thoughts you know and we break it down on the channel still a great looking figure nonetheless and like, I was actually looking at it going, eh, kind of skippable or whatever. But now, when I see it, I'm like, okay, this actually may have some great things about it that I'm excited for. So, The Undertaker kind of caught me by surprise, which was interesting. But moving on, we also have Grayson Waller here. Now, I'm not the biggest Grayson Waller fan, but these figures do look good. I like uh, I like the black version and the white version. I can't remember if the chase is the white or the chase is the black. I cannot remember off the top of my head. I want to say the black is the chase, but I could be wrong. But what's cool about this is the black version actually has a faded haircut like painted like his hair shorter on the sides and then the white version has a more fuller haircut or more full hair on the sides there which I think is awesome it pretty much giving you like two different completely figures you know like the head sculpts different the attires different I mean you're looking at pretty much a repainted figure which is awesome giving us a completely new look different entrance vest that's that's awesome and I'm not the I'm not a big Grayson Waller guy but I still think that's really awesome to see that you know put into Elite Series 107 but that is the full Elite Series 107 I do believe pretty solid wave overall man I think it's great you have a lot of current talent obviously old man taker in there but i am looking forward to the wave when that eventually hits we don't even have elite series 106 just yet but elite 107 does look pretty damn solid and then i did want to get into these little uh, lineups that i was talking about that this was posted to instagram now this comes to us from collector's insider right here now they posted this little screenshot here of the the full waves that you know and they've been very accurate in the past this person has been on the nose many many times but uh it had this list of figures going down as you guys can see here at the top you're going to see ultimate edition best of hollywood hulk hogan and charlotte so i guess the next like greatest hit series of the best of series is going to be hollywood hulk hogan which is going to be the old style you know the first hollywood hogan that we saw and that's a great figure i remember getting that figure i love that figure very nostalgic very clean but what i feel about this figure 
is I'm imagining it's going to have the updated tan, it's going to have pinless joints, it's going to have all the bells and whistles that the other elites and ultimate Hogan's have now. That's going to be such a beast. That figure is going to sell like hotcakes, and I, I imagine they're going to have to change it up. They're not going to be able to re-release that guy exactly how he was before. They're going to have to give us those updates, and if they give us those updates, man, this figure is going to sell like nutties. I don't even know what the hell I just said, but that's gonna that, that figure's gonna do really, really well is what I'm trying to say. You'll be banned from Summer SummerSlam is what you're saying. And then, of course, we do have Charlotte there, which is another figure that I think a lot of people are wanting. And uh, I know a lot of people do not want the, the re-releases and whatnot, but I do, if, I, if, if the past serves us correctly, this is going to be accurate. You know, we don't have any word on this just yet. This hasn't been fully approved or anything or, you know, and this could just be, uh, you can take this with a grain of salt, but this is what, uh, what was posted up there. He also has the SummerSlam release. Now, this was posted before the reveals the other day. So this is what I was talking about the morning of Ringside Fest, and I said, you know, there was some stuff coming out and I didn't want to touch on it until after Ringside Fest. This, uh, they were accurate, you know, the SummerSlam Elites. There it is. Lex Luger, Kane, X-Pac, and Undertaker. We already know that that's completely true. Elite 108, we have Brock Lesnar, Bronson Reed, Omos, LA Knight, and Chelsea Green, who is the chase. We already knew Bronson Reed was coming in Elite 108. They announced that. Omos, we saw back at Comic-Con. LA Knight, they touched on and we knew was coming. And then Chelsea Green, we knew back from San Diego Comic-Con when she came out and was a special guest. So it looks like Elite 108 is completely nailed. And then Elite 109, Seth Rollins, we got to see that figure. Dominic Mysterio got to see that figure. Bailey got to see that. Cody Rhodes, we have not seen yet, but apparently he's in Elite Series 109. We know we're getting the top talents figure. We know we're getting an Ultimate Edition. I would have guessed this Elite 109 Cody would have to be the Royal Rumble Cody. It would have to be, right? It would have to be Royal Rumble Elite Cody there in Elite Series 109, hopefully. Don't know about that just yet. It's not confirmed or anything, but we do have a November Elite Squad video that's going to be posted in the next two weeks. We're going to have more reveals and more things coming into the uh, year of 2024, so I'm sure Elite 109 Cody will probably be in that video, and we'll probably get those Ultimate Edition best ofs up there, but then rounding out the set we already know about is going to be Damian, Damian Priest, and then Shinsuke Nakamura, who is also the chase, so they, they completely nailed a lot of the stuff before it was announced at Ringside Fest, so I'd imagine that most of this stuff is is going to be true there, but we won't know until we get to the Elite Squad and the whatnots of the, uh, you know, that entire reveal video there, but I did want to touch on this and just talk about a little bit of everything there. I want to say my mind's going blank, but I could have swore that I had something else that I wanted to touch on right there, but that is, uh, that is completely the news right there, I think. I think that's everything that I wanted to touch on here today in our news video. Tons of great stuff coming, man. I think that they've done a really excellent job. I thought Ringside Fest was a was a great success. I thought they nailed every single thing about it, all the different figures we got and all the things that they touched on and the things we're getting in the future, man. Really, really excited for Roman and Asuka. Really excited to see, you know, the improvements and what they look like when they, you know, they finally release. I thought we got a ton of great reveals and stuff like that over the last two days. And I'm looking forward to the Elite Squad video that's going to be coming in the next two weeks. You know, it's going to be, you know, every month they typically release a gallery or they release a video talking about releases and new upcoming things that's going to be coming out. So I am looking forward to that for sure, man. But that is going to wrap up today's video on the news, man. I'd love to know what you think of all this stuff down in the comment section below. Where do you feel about the greatest hit? What do you think about the new things, Elite 107, all those things, man? Please let me know all of those things and what your thoughts are down in the comment section below, man. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. A huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you guys so very much for everything that you guys do for me on a daily basis. None of that goes without noticing for sure. I appreciate you guys so very much. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you later. And let me know your thoughts on Ringside Fest 2023.